Get this, Roland says we could see a better chance of showers over the next couple of days. Yeah, a little better chance. There's a lot of moisture that's down to the south. There's an area of low pressure that's going to move in from California. So the combination of that moisture with that area of low pressure should help to trigger a little better chance of some showers and maybe even some isolated thunderstorms, primarily in the afternoon over the next couple of days. I can tell you one place where we're seeing and that and that is up in the mountains. In fact, this is the view from the top of Brundage. And as you could tell, well, they are seeing definitely a little scattering of showers out there in the higher elevations of the mountains, even a little bit of thunderstorm activity out there as well. And the temperature readings have been held down just a little bit because of the cloud cover that we have seen. But now we're starting to see some breaks in the clouds. The temperatures are probably going to be spiking close to 90 degrees for the high temperature today in Boise. So here's the Treasure Valley, mostly dry conditions, a few showers up around Idaho City, a little more uh, scattered shower activity out here around Sun Valley down to the south of the Magic Valley. But there you can see there were some showers over the Owyhees. That's some of that moisture that's trying to work its way up from the south. So far, the Treasure Valley has been dry. We may see a little spotty shower here and there this evening, but I think that better chance is going to be tomorrow. Now, the high temperature so far today has been 87 degrees. That is the first time in weeks that we have actually, if we stay at 87, That'll be the first time in weeks that we have actually managed to come in below the average high of 90 degrees. The record is 103 degrees set back in 1968. So outside right now, the temperature is 87 in Boise. Napa's 86, Caldwell 88 degrees, Mountain Homes at 81, and McCall, cooled off by some of the showers out there, is 65 degrees. Look at what's spinning around over California. You see that little counterclockwise rotation? That's an area of low pressure, and it's going to move pretty much from the southwest to the northeast. So this is moisture that we have in place across southern Idaho. There's additional moisture that's flaring up over northern Nevada. So as the low kind of tracks right across the area, that should be the trigger mechanism to help at least spark off that better chance of showers in the forecast tomorrow afternoon and Friday. Here's what the computer models are showing. This is through the day tomorrow. Future cast showing a little more scattering of showers, especially over the mountainous areas. And then as I advance this and take you into Friday, there you can see little hit and miss pockets of rain coming closer to the Treasure Valley. So it's not going to be a washout kind of a scenario tomorrow or Friday. But don't be surprised if we see a little lightning, a little thunder, and hopefully at least enough uh, water here and there to help water some of the lawns and just kind of cool temperatures off and also clear out the air because there's also been a little smoke and haze from distant fires over British Columbia and Washington that have been moving in across the Treasure Valley over the last few days. So seven day forecast for the Treasure Valley. I'm going with a high temperature tomorrow of 90 degrees. Sunshine mixed in with clouds with a chance of some showers in the afternoon tomorrow and Friday maybe even a couple of showers in the afternoon on Saturday. Then that low begins to dissipate, move away. Temperatures will start to go back up on Sunday and we'll get drier conditions going into next week. The mountains will see a pretty good chance of some scattered afternoon showers and thunderstorms tomorrow, Friday, a couple of lingering showers in the afternoon Saturday, and then Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday of next week looks warmer and uh, drier. So there we go. Okay, so just, just a chance, just a little yeah, smattering around. Yeah, but you know, if we do get a thunderstorm that parks itself over your house, you might say, Ooh. wow, that was a pretty good little downpour. <laughs> yeah, but it would just be over your house. Yeah. Thanks, Roland.